Good morning. Uh, you know, usually I'll, I'll bring the Bible up in with us because I use that when prepare, preparing. Kathy told me they were out talking to people on the weekend, and uh, when they were talking to one of the women, <clears throat> she said, yeah, you Catholics, you don't read from the Bible from the Bible, you have a, another book. So, here's the Bible. <laughs> here's the other Bible, a book, and there is Scripture. So, people have uh, strange ideas. <clears throat> so, here we, here we go. Let's, uh, let's go back. Uh, to Noah. How were people living in Noah's time? Apparently, not too well. So Noah, to me, is kind of like maybe the first Jew. And, and God favored him and, and his family. Um, then here comes Abraham, few others came there. And Abraham was another Jew. He was like the Jew. <clears throat> and, and then his kids. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of other people in there. Why am I saying this? <laughs> because here we are, fast forward to Jesus' time. And Jesus is telling these guys, okay, you were Jews. You did everything you're supposed to do. Moses taught you well. And here you are now. You're, what are you calling? Hip hypocrites. Uh, that's what Jesus, Jesus said. So here's this uh guy that uh, got knocked off a horse and Jesus talked to him and said, what are you doing? And uh, he said, well, I'm a good Jew. I'm out there persecuting these people that are t uh, not living the way I want them to live. And we know what happens after that. So here is... Uh, Paul now talking to James and Peter, and he's, uh, he's saying, hey, <clears throat> you can't be a hypocrite. You can't have it t both ways. So you either um, get with the program, which means, you know, Christ fulfilled all things that were in the uh, um, Old Testament. So here he is. He's done all that now. Now there's a new, new chapter, and that's Christianity. And the guys we got to talk to are the Jews because you make we need you now for them to act like Christians because they got so involved in being Jew, Judas and. And going all the, going through all the laws, and they forgot about each other. Um, <clears throat> so these gen Gentiles, you got to remember where did they come from? Well, they were kind of like uh, guys that uh, um, Noah had to deal with, and so. You know, we got a long way to work now with these guys, so we got to go take care of the, the guys that want to be Christians, which are Gentiles, but uh, don't over, be overcome with the people that are, that are so steep in, in Jesus, Judas, uh, <laughs> Jewish um, background and traditions that you you don't think about it anymore. You you think, well, I have they can't be like this. Serpent serpents 
easier for me to say, surfing sissing was the, what they were talking about at that time. And uh, Paul was giving them, I mean, he was giving it to them, hey, guys, you're hypocrites. You know, didn't Jesus just talk to a whole bunch of hypocrites and told them, quit doing that? <laughs> so uh, now he's got a leader of the, um, of the church, and he's talked to James, and he's telling them. And then Barnabas was in it too. They were acting like, okay, I, I'm going to buddy up to these guys because they're really important people in the Jewish community. And he's telling them, hey, don't do that. Buddy up to Christ and live your life that way. And just because it's kind of uh, tough, to to not do it that way, you know. Don't look out down at the rich people. Or go. Don't buddy up to rich people and look down to the poor, uh, because that's not what Jesus t- told us to do. He said, "Look at your brother and sister and love them." That's what I got out of reading.